Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you can copy data between different Business Central companies in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So um, I have a previous video on my YouTube channel about how you can create a new company for go live in Business Central. And uh, so I have a brief introduction in that video and for how you can create a business central new business central company with black data and then you can copy from another business central company but so in this video i want to dig into more details in that so you can see in what conditions in what scenarios you can copy the data between different business central companies and in what conditions you cannot because some some people may think copy data through the configuration configuration worksheet may work no matter uh, if you want to update the data in another company probably you have multiple business central companies let's say if you have items in company a and you have items in company b but uh, then you did some update in the for the items in company a but you want to copy that updated data to company b as well but you don't want to use the rapid start package you don't want to use the configuration package. You only want to use the copy data between business central company. You want to use this feature from the configuration worksheet. So this the so in the configuration worksheet it, under the process you have this copy data from company. But this function does not work uh, if the the only condition this function work is like. Uh, the company, the business central company you copy the data from must have records in the table you want to copy. And um, the in the company you want to copy to must have no record in that table. And also there are some other conditions. How you can see the other, the other conditions? So the easy way for, uh, for you to see it is you go to copy data from company and you inspect the page. By pressing the Control Alt F1 on your keypad, you can inspect the page, and then you can go to the page filters. Then you can see what filters are used on this page. So let's say I uh, say copy from this company, DMS Jesse Wong, and I can see I have this table. But if I select another company, let's say Kronos USA Inc., then you see I don't see anything underneath for this table I want to copy anymore. So the reason of that is because that filter. So let's go back to uh, this and you can see this. I want to copy this table. If you go to the page filter, you can see the conditions it applies to. So the first is like in this table, config line table. It has to be the line type table because in this table, you can see this line type. It can be table, it can be group and uh, it, there's a drop down list. So it has to be table. And also um, then it's filtered to whatever company like uh, you are currently at. So it's filtered to that company. I'm currently, this company I'm working in is a Z-test. And then the company filter, this company filter is the source table where you want to copy the data from. So currently it's filtered to DMS Jesse Wong. And then the number of records in the table you are currently working on has to be zero right so it's not like you have some you already have some data in that table but you are uh, in the another company you have more data you just want to uh, copy that data to your current company so you can have more data in this company as well you, you want to update your existing table if you want to copy the data for the update purpose that will not work at all the only condition it works is like in your current table in your current company current ta this table you're working on there's no data and you want to copy the you want to insert the data from another business central company which has the record so that goes to next condition the source table need to have records if the other business central company does not have any record then that's the condition that's the scenario we see here so if we go to this Kronos USA Inc, we don't see anything here because that's outside of this filter because this company does not have any record of this table, sales channel table. 
So that's why you don't see it. So let's go back here. And then, so that's the conditions we can see on this page. And an another two conditions is on this config line, the, 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 the line behind this pop-up window. You have to make sure the license to table is as yes and the copying available is as yes. How can you get that? Okay, so I'll show you how you can get that. So um, you can see on this existing line, I already have that, right? So the license, um, there is a license table here. This is checked. And then uh, copying available, this check mark is checked. How did I get that? Let's just uh, copy this. So let's start from scratch. Let's delete this one, okay? So the first thing you need to do, you have to create a configuration package because you need to attach your configuration worksheet with that configuration package. So another thing I want to mention about this about this uh, feature for copy the data is like, it doesn't matter if it's a customer table or not. It can copy the data as long as you meet all those conditions in that page filter. So I'm gonna delete this one. Uh, so this is the table I want to copy. So uh, first you have to create a configuration package and then you have to create that configuration worksheet, okay? So in the configuration worksheet, you have to specify which table you want to copy that data. And then after you uh, create this configuration worksheet line, then you go to your configuration package. So actually you can do this configuration worksheet first. So you can create this line for the table you want to copy the data to first. And then you go to the configuration package. You have to create a configuration package so you can attach to that worksheet. So after you create a worksheet line and you go to configuration package and you click on get tables, and then you have to select your table. So uh, somehow it didn't uh, populate that table yet. So let's go back to our configuration worksheet just to make sure whatever we put in here is refreshed. If you don't click on the next line to refresh it, then it will, it will not automatically save that change. So now let's go to the configuration package and then we should be able to get that table. So go to this configuration package, click on get tables click on the three dot. Now you see this table is here. Then click on this selected and click on close and click on okay. So on the configuration package, previously I don't have any line here, but now it's populated here, right? Once it's populated, if you go back to the configuration worksheet, you will see the package code is populated. This is my configuration package code. So this worksheet has to attach to that configuration package. And then at the same time, after I did that, you see this license table, this check mark is checked and the copying available, this check mark is checked. And now you can do the next step. You go to the process, you go to copy data from a uh, company and you have to make sure you select a company which you have the records. So I'm copying the sales channel table. Let's just make sure like in this company, currently I'm working on, I have no records for that table. Let's go to CSM sales channel. I do not have any records. Let's switch to the other company, which says uh, DMS Jesse one. And let's take a look in that company. We have to make sure in that originating company you copy the data from, you should have the record for that table. So let's search sales channel and then take a look. So we do have two records here, okay? So this meet that condition, like for the company, it's a central company I'm working on. For the table I want to copy, I don't have any records in this company. And then in the other company, I do have records. So that's why when we click on process, copy data from company, then this line show up. If this line does not show up, if it looks like this, if you go to this Kronos company and you don't see anything here, then there's nothing, there's no data you can copy from, okay? So that will not work. So we have to make sure this happens and then you can click on copy data, click on yes. Then you see it says you the data has been copied successfully. Then we can search this table, sales channels. Then we will be able to see the two records in this table. Okay, so you can see these two records has been copied over. So that's how you can copy data between business, uh, different business central companies 
this is usually for go live because for Business Central, you uh, SaaS, you don't have uh, different databases. When we do the uh, testing, we usually create a testing company in your production Business Central instance. And when you go live, then you can create another company with blank data, and then you can copy the data, the, the setup table, master data table from your testing company to your Business Central live company when you go live. So that's the purpose for this copy data from company. So it has to be uh, the company you are working in needs to have no data in the table. So you are copy. And it's not your, if you are updating the data, then this function does not work that way. And also this function works for custom tables as well. So it's not only for the out of box business central tables, it also works for custom tables. Okay. So that's everything I want to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.